Compost, another key component in Kakuzi's sustainability journey. And I wanted to show you how we actually do this. We're here today at Kakuzi's macadamia factory. And macadamias, like everywhere else in the world, starts off with the first process of dehusking the nuts. Behind me is the macadamia factory. And this is where it all happens. Roughly 50% of this nut here is the husk. And the first thing that we do when we receive the husk from the field is remove it. That then becomes the component of our compost. So let's take a look. Now there's nothing unusual about dehusking. Macadamia farmers all over the world do this. In Australia, for example, they actually dehusk when they harvest and they leave this husk in the field. So in a way, a very perfect scenario. For us here in Kenya, we actually dehusk in a different way. We actually harvest by hand. We employ a thousand people in our peak season and that's critical for our local economy. We live in central Kenya, it is a rural economy and providing decent working opportunities for a lot of people is actually quite important to Kakuzi. So we're going to actually see what happens next. So it's very, very noisy. I'm not sure whether you can hear me. But basically, very simple. We take the husk and we drop them into this hopper. Everything's done by gravity to try and reduce the amount of fuel, the amount of spare parts, the amount of energy we use in processing macadamias. So this is dehusking. This is where we remove the outer husk, leaving us with the nut in shell. So we've turned the machinery off because it's very, very loud at the moment, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. But basically, this is how it happens. The nut in husk moves through this machinery, and then it goes into this machine where we force the nut in husk through a very, very tight aperture, and literally through a process of friction, we rip the husk off the shell, leaving us with these, the wet nut in shell then that goes on to the next process. Now the husk is then blown out into a big pile that we'll see in a minute, and that is the material that we use for compost. So here we are. This is the material that we're now gonna take to our composting site. Roughly, roughly speaking, we produce about 10,000 kilos per hectare of nut in husk. About 50% of that is this husk material. So on an annual basis, from our 1,000 hectares of macadamia, we have roughly 5 million kilos of compostable material. Now, by the time you've composted it, half of that disappears, it's mainly water, and we're left with about 2.5 million kilos worth of compost to apply back to our fields on an annual basis. So here we are in the field where we undertake the compost. Now it all starts in a very, very simple way. So essentially a very low input way of producing compost. Now there's an incredible amount of science to compost and we can, we can get into all sorts of things as we understand this more and more in time. But at the moment we do it in a very, very low input fashion. So this is how it starts. Now over time, about one year later, this all breaks down under the sun and the rain. We turn it a few times during that year and we get a final product, which is the compost that we then apply to our trees. This is the final compost material. It's very, very much like soil, as you can see. So one year later, all of that husk has broken down and given us this. So the next thing is we take this and apply it to the root base of every single one of our trees. So here we are. 
underneath the shade of this beautiful macadamia tree. And this is where we apply the compost, right on top of the root zone where all the short feeder roots are. Now, compost has a huge benefit for macadamias. Not only does it keep the soil from being bare and from overheating, what it also does is returns nutrients to the plants and it increases the water holding capacity of the soil, which is hugely important for irrigated agriculture, such as the one that we practice. So not only do we have a nutrient benefit, we have a water benefit and we have a carbon benefit as well.